Am I the only person who just doesn't know how to properly put the hot pocket inside the pocket? It's Ari back again with another video, but you guys already knew that though. Like I didn't even have to announce that like I do every video because if I post a video, that means that I'm back again with another video. And today I have a Ari advice video. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and read the email. Um, I hope this doesn't sound too crazy, but I broke my boyfriend's neck. Yup, we were in judo class and our classmates started teasing us about who would win if me and him had a match. I swear to God, I did not want to have a match against him, but he insisted. I'm guessing because of his male pride, well, about 20 minutes, about 20 seconds, sorry, into the match, I judo flipped him like a wet noodle and he did not get up. Paramedics had to be, had to be called. He was taken off the mat on a stretcher. Later it was discovered he fractured three vertebrae in his neck, or did I do it? He has to be in a hard neck brace now for the next two to three months and he hates wearing it. He said it makes him look like the world's biggest dork. I feel terrible. He's pissed and embarrassed. Our relationship is kind of on the rocks because of this. He even snapped on me because he thought I was helping him too much the other day. He is getting razzed by his friends, which isn't helping. Will he ever get over this? What can I do to make it more better? I, apolog I apologize till I was blue in the face. Just tell me what you think, I guess. <sighs> okay, so you broke your boyfriend's neck. Like, that is so, so crazy. Like, I understand though because I remember with my ex like we always fought and stuff in public and he was about to let me win in public because he already knew that if he would have got punched in the face by me all his friends would be like ooh and stuff like that so like I completely understand the situation I can but hold on before I get into the advice section of this I like to say girl you are dope like the fact that you were able to basically like handle your boyfriend was like, dang, like you're dope, you're dope. Not, not for breaking your boyfriend's neck or anything. I'm just saying like the fact that you're capable of doing so tells a lot. But um, I think that your boyfriend probably feels weak. Like he feels like, dang, I like, I like in relationships, males are supposed to be the strong ones and females are supposed to be strong, but not as strong as male you know so it's the fact that you just showed him that you could handle him it's almost like it lowers his self-esteem a little bit and like it's almost as if he can't be like a protector figure anymore so i feel like you should just give him space you know what i'm saying like not too much space but like i said you don't want to um make him feel weaker than he already does because that just makes him feel like helpless or whatever and obviously he doesn't like to feel that way and as far as his friends go like teasing him i mean guys will be guys there's really nothing you can do about that try to reassure him that he's still the man you know what i'm saying because right now he doesn't feel that way so always let him know that he's still the man he's still strong because this probably really took a toll on his self-confidence. I'm sure like everything will be okay though later. Like after he's out of the neck brace, everything will be fine. Like, it's just the fact that he physically has to walk around in that. It's like almost to him that's like a sign of weakness, which in time, in time, you just gotta get to stuff like that time. Stuff like that just doesn't get fixed overnight, obviously. But yeah, that's it for the video. Always comment down below um your advice to the person that i'm getting, giving advice and what you think that they should do and also you can always email me at airbeauty1997 for advice if you need advice and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye <laughs> it's not even in the pocket like <laughs>